Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, welcome back to the savior of Skyrim. With Mimir Many Lives, his companion Stenvar, Flamey, and the Falmer of Alftan. Without further ado, get ready for a combat heavy episode as Mistfire bless me. Wow. We wow ourselves in the face. Th they truly are blind, aren't they? Wow, I thought Mimir was blind. This is this is a whole other level. Oh, but they can sense me. They can def- oh. Luckily, we have the deflect arrows perk now, so the archers don't really scare me as much. Oh. All right, the, the, the fireball came from Flamey. I'm like, oh, they have a, 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 a fire wizard. It's like, no, that's, that's the Atronach you just summoned. Welcome back. I hope you're ready. I'm super excited about getting through the Alftan Cathedral today. Hopefully reaching Blackreach. Is it a, like, imagine doing this without Stenmar. <laughs> I don't want to imagine. It sounds like pain. Yeah. Okay. We've gotten some tools from Septimus Cygnus that should help us get through this zone. So we just need to keep our eyes open. Explore every nook and cranny. And take care of our friends. Weak lingering poison. I'll take the ears, because I'm that kind of guy. Like a weak poison. Okay. Let's begin looking around. They've got plenty of glowing mushrooms growing here. I don't want to miss a thing. Alright, frostbite spider. Easy. Badoosh! I just love summoning flamey right- Okay, well, that was the baby one. Bit of an overreaction on my side, but that's okay. Just having flamey out is not a terrible idea. In this dark, dank place. I'm just going around seeing what loot we can find. Mostly Falmer gear. Which makes sense. Fighting these Dwemer creations. We're, we're done the with the Dwemer. That doesn't even... We're done with the Dwemer. It's Falmer time, baby. What we got. Alright. Potion Minor Magica is nice, though. We have a lot of healing potions, but not many magic potions. Still, I'm super stingy on healing potions, you might have noticed. I very rarely actually use them. I need to be better at it. I think we have close to 50 now, the minor ones. They don't really do much, just one, but they could be the difference between life and death. A ruby, 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 ruby. That's pretty cool. Potion of healing, six golds. Mistfire, bless me. This is where we want to go, I assume, where that giant ballista is pointing at us, but... The gates are up, but there's lots of cogwheels all over the place, so I suppose it's just a matter of finding the right lever. Oh! Another chest, flawless garnet, gold lockpick, portal magica, and a steel battle axe. Ew. White cap. What does that do in Skyrim? At least weakness to frost. Okay, okay, okay. Leave that be. Anything up here? Just a couple of shrooms. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Oh, this is an actual path. That's so cool. It didn't seem like it would be. Oh, and the colors here are beautiful. Can I pick any of these? Whoa, okay. I'm starting to see that Black Reach aesthetic. Oh, that's so cool. There's not anything here, but it's still just a nice little zone, like being able to go up there. It's so neat. Okay. I'm in a good mood today. I am ready to face whatever's here. Okay, uh, looks like we've explored the immediate area. Alright, we have a little pond here. So, question is, how do we get past the gates? Oh, well, <laughs> the, the, the lever's right there. In plain view, up the stairs that were immediately to my... You know, you know how these things go. So I think at depth locks or higher, I'm gonna equip the high braces of lockpicking. Because that just makes it a little more embarrassing when I fail. <laughs> Amulet of Giuliano's Scroll of Hysteria. That's fun. What do we got here? Gold. Stamina potion. Even a soul gem. 
Okay, in case this calls upon some mighty foe. Okay, it's just a gate. Huh. Ah. Mistfire, bless me. Okay, okay. Now that thing's not working. Maybe I could... <gasps> oh! It was only a matter of time. Oh! It was only a matter of time before the Centurion appeared. Mistfire, bless me. Okay. Can I even stun something like this? I need to try. Ah. Ah. <gasps> I think maybe I can. Okay, that's exciting. That is exciting. Ah. Cause I need to keep Stenbar up here. I need somebody else than me to... <gasps> to take aggro. Alright. Flame is on. Okay, there's another Centurion there that appears to be dismantled. Which is good news for me. Oh boy. Okay. Keep standing, Stenbar. Keep fighting. Do not fall. There is no more level up bonus for me to use as a get out of dodge free cards. Douche. Alright. He's going down though. This was good. This was good. We ran in first. We got a little spooked. But then we regrouped. Ugh. And we brought down a Centuri, Alan. Stenvar! We're so cool. <sighs> Sometimes I wish Sven was here to see it. The key to Alfton lifts. Oh. Is that it? Centurion Dynamo Core has been found. Alftan is cleared. Well, this zone of Alftan, I don't want to officially count Alftan as cleared until we've gone to that ruined tower up above and cleared that too. But at least we know this section is thoroughly cleared. Grand Soul Gem, Flawless Garnet. All right. All right, all right. Well then, we have the key to the Alftan lift, so... This could be where, you know, everything is sort of wrapped up, but we want to go even deeper. Alftan is just the beginning. All right. So unlike this chest right here. Easy. Gold hide helmet of destruction. Small Dwemer plate metal. Hmm. Hmm. Don't remember if I have that one. Come on. What's around the corner? Disappointment was there. Staring me in the face. All right, all right, all right. Sella, let's just <gasps> get out of here. Hasn't there been enough death? Of course, you want me to leave. Just waiting for me to turn my back. The so last you two. The glory for yourself. Huh? You okay. Oh, they're fighting each other too. That's excellent. Mistfire, bless me. Oh, look at their shield on her. <laughs> I told you guys of a great, powerful artifact lying within Alftan. And we are looking at it. That shield, that buckler, that targe right there will be mine. Okay. Also, Flamey is doing an awful job, so I need to summon Flamey into the middle of them. Because I can't have just her standing behind a pillar. Sometimes I would like a more melee-focused summon, but... Alright, let's focus on Sola, since Umana is, is yielding. Ugh. Oh, I can also heal. She's down! Okay. While Stemmer keeps him busy, we are going to loot her. So, here we go. Steel plate armor. That's cool. I don't know if I have steel plate armor. I know we have steel plate boots and gauntlets, because we're wearing them. This right here is Targe of the Blooded. When bashing, look at it in profile, does three points of bleeding damage for five seconds. What is it that we do all the time, repeatedly? Bash. No more! I yield! I yield! Ah! No running yet, because I have a new weapon to try. And yes, I did just call shield a weapon, because... It gives us some offensive capabilities while being defensive. Here it is. All right. Stop him. Yeah. Go. Come. 
Come on now. Do I need a vegetable soup? I think I need a vegetable soup. Stop! Ugh. Ugh. Look at his health. Look at his health. We are able to damage him by simply bashing him with our shields. <laughs> and just smack his head into a wall. <clears throat> this is so good. I've been theory crafting whether or not this shield will be good for us, and I think... I think it will be. This seems like the kind of thing we're gonna see a lot of use. Iron Shield of Waning Shock. There's so many enchanted goodies here. I almost missed these chests on my way up. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. I was kind of preoccupied with the Centurion, though, so that's... Okay. The final two have been found. Droth of Lockpicking, Elven Shield of Waning Magic. 100 gold. Orcish armor and a reverent steel great swords. Okay, it's upgrade time, Stenvar. Need something? Sure. Feel free to hand me all the gold you want. I'll just give you some heavy stuff, and you can decide to wear what you want to wear. Okay. I'm just gonna put some stuff away for you. Falmer shields, hide helmet of destruction, iron shield of waning shock, orcish armor. Oh, that's not a very aesthetic combo. Steel plate armor. Imperial Sword of Draining, Reverend Steel Greatswords. I really hope he's not going to use that. If he is, I need to take it back. Oh, he is going to use that, isn't Let's he? Go. No, we can't have that. Huh? Also, sure. you look ridiculous. You I can't quite put my finger on what part of it is ridiculous, but on, it just feels so mismatched. I love it. Alrighty. So, a Dwarven Mechanism. Oh. The Ulf Tan lifts. This can take us back out to Skyrim. We've completed it, you could say, but let's play around with the Dwarven mechanism here. There goes the Attunement Sphere. And what do you know? Blackreach. Do you hear Mimir? Panting so heavily right now. Okay. That's where we have to go. We're not done quite yet. But we have some loot. I want to get to the surface and see if my stuff is still in that chest. And... Oh, there's a lever right here. That feels so good. It's that Dark Souls feeling of returning to Firelink Shrine and realizing, oh, that's a horsey! Mistfire, bless me. And that horse. Why I keep finding horses? I'm just curious about it. Is this another one of those frozen in horror horses? Bandit thug. Hey, horsey. Nice to seeing you out here. Just wanted to have a look at you. Every time I appear, there's something new outside of Alftan. Let's put away some more stuff in that chest. Let's put all of our eggs in one basket. And then let's go. I'm curious to try out more of the Targe of the Blooded. It's just really nice knowing that I can get some damage in while I'm being defensive. Alright. Come here, Stenvar. Psst, psst. Stenvar. Come here. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Over here. You look terrifying. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Yeah. I'm gonna trade some things and I'll see you in a bit. And we have deposited the goods that we wish to deposit. Stemmer and I are light on our feet and ready for whatever lies beneath in Black Reach. Into Alftan once more, down the steps, through the gates. And let's begin exploring. Now, I believe there are certain aspects... Oh... Wow! There are certain aspects of Blackreach that I can't really explore until I am Dragonborn. Concerning a certain huge bell thingy over there and shouting. But for now, we're gonna explore what we can explore. We have a Dwarven Sphere with a crossbow appearing. Oh! Stenbar's already on it. Excellent. Mistfire, bless me. Now. Ah. 
Let's get our Targe out. I don't know if I can bleed all the types of enemies, though. This is a Dwarven Sphere, so... I'm not sure if he's bleedable. That would probably be strange. Actually, I'll look that up. Dark from the future. Can you bleed certain enemies, like, um... Constructs? Cool, interesting to know. Wow, Dark from the future, such a smart guy. We have a Falmer Skulker over here as well. Just uh, kind of skulking around. Stembar's struggling, so I'm going to summon Flamey in their midst once again. Just so that Flamey does what she's supposed to do. We're going to try to bring the Dwarven... Oh no, he's... This is bad. Get the sphere down as soon as possible now. <gasps> oh, the... I think the Falmer did... did some of the work for us there. All right. All right. Flamey right on top of him. Keep the fire damage going. Now be very careful, because Stenbar's down. We don't want to hit our companions by accident. That'd be silly. No, we're, I'm not... We're not gonna end it, Stenbar. You're stuck with me for quite a while. Oh, boy. The hubris. You can't... Well, it's good to know that we can still get bested, huh? Okay. Let's see if we can do better this time around. It's not too difficult of a combat scenario. It just kind of sucks that the Falmer is going to intercept us, so... Just need to get the Dwarven Sphere down as, as much as we can. Alright. I should focus on blocking quite a bit just to keep Stenbar's health up, because that's really going to help. Having more focus targets. Right, I see the Falmer in the distance. He's about to approach, but we've gotten the Dwarven Sphere down a lot more this time around. So this is good. Excellent all around. We're past 51 handed. That's nice. Okay. Yeah, he hasn't attacked yet. Whew. That went a little better. Dwarven Bolt. A Ruby. Petty Soul Gem. Okay. Let's go, boy. I see you standing there, looking at me, all shy-like. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Falmer, though, you can bleed. Oh, boy. It's hard to know what damage is from me, what's from the fire, what is from Stemvar. This is something to try out when we are a bit more alone as well, but... I am digging the... Just the concept of being able to damage people with our shields. Oh my gosh. Yes. Golden Mill, Fulmer here. Fulmer Hardened Helm. Oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Is that better than the Dwarven? Sure. Feel free to hand me all the gold you want. Oh, it might be equally, which means, will you equip it? He's not going to, but I'm going to take the Dwarven Helmet. Oh. Lead on, then. Oh, you, Stenvar is just merging with the environment, with the land. He is becoming one of them. Okay, Blackreach. This is, this is going to be the time that I admit to you that I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> okay, we need to transcribe the lexicon. That's helpful. Okay, oh, we have a field laboratory in front of us. Oh, it's going to be a huge... Okay. Let's go. Oh boy. Would you look at that? A crimson nern root. A return to your roots. Ah, oh, discover the significance of crimson nern root. Regular nern root too. Potion of healing. Dwemer cup for some reason. Potion of brief invisibility. Apothecary satchel. Always fun to find. Daedra Heart. Have I acquired Daedra Heart before? Well, I haven't. Mm-mm. A tasty snack. Hmm. Surprisingly good. Gods, I'd hate to lose my footing in a place like this. A fall on this stony floor will break bones. Oh, speaking of falling on the floor and breaking bones. Cinderian and his journal. Now, if you remember the Oblivion series, you might remember a certain Cinderian living in the wine cellar in Skingrad who sent us on the Nernroot hunts. <sighs> These elves, man, they live a long time. 
Okay. Cinderian's Field Journal. 58th of the Fourth Era, Second Seed, Midas. I've spent a large portion of my life unraveling the mystery of the Nurn Root, and yet I still feel unfulfilled. The trilling sound this strange herb emits seems to taunt me, to push me even harder to discover its secrets. Even after a generous and indomitable traveler became a field collector in my stead, Mr. Fire bless us, and provided me with five score of the Nurn Root, I was only able to muster what I consider a mediocre alchemical creation at best. This only served to strengthen my hunger and whet my appetite for the solution. It wasn't until over fifty years later that the answer to my prayers was carried into my basement workshop at the West Wheeled Inn. The first thing I heard was the familiar tone, that unmistakable warble unique to the Nurn Roots. But when I turned around, my heart leapt and a chill ran down my spine. This was indeed a Nurn Root, but of a variety the likes of which I have never seen. The herb was awash in a spectacular array of red hues, each leaf seemingly emblazoned with innumerable variations of crimson. I couldn't move. I was completely transfixed. Never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined a species of Nurnroot with such a unique property. After an awkward silence, I finally managed to stammer out a few questions to the traveler who had brought me this treasure. He told me his name was Obeth Arnesian, a treasure seeker from Skyrim. Apparently, he'd been exploring a vast subterranean network of grand caverns called Blackreach, and had stumbled across what he dismissed as a noisy red weed. His expedition was largely unsuccessful, and he didn't want to leave the caves empty-handed, so Obeth picked one of the Crimson Urn Roots to bring home. He said that it took some time, but eventually he was pointed my way and that perhaps I'd pay a fair price for it. Before I could gather my wits and ask anything else, Obeth offered to sell the Crimson Nurn Root sample, a map showing me how to find Blackreach and the strange key needed to breach its outer defenses. It took me mere moments to decide Obeth left Skingrad a thousand septums richer. <laughs> it took... Uh, period. It took me mere moments to decide. Period. Obeth left Skingrad a few... a thousand septums richer, but I would have easily paid ten times that amount to obtain the sample alone. It took a year of planning, but I was able to pack up and sell my workshop and make my way into Skyrim. Before delving headfirst into Blackreach, I knew I needed to set up a new laboratory, but wished to do so in seclusion. After making inquiries at the College of Winterhold, of which I was an honorary member, I was directed to speak to Avrusa Sarethi, a student of botanical alchemy, who had a small farm near the city of Riften. By bartering my knowledge of Nurnroot cultivation, I was able to secure Sarethi Farm as a launching point of my field research. I kept the knowledge of the Crimson Nurnroot a secret from Arusa, but imparted everything else I knew to her in exchange for her hospitality. A few months passed, but I was finally ready to enter Blackreach. I used the attunement sphere that Obeth had provided and descended into the depths. My goal was to gather enough Crimson Nurnroot to produce my greatest alchemical creation to date. I was certain it would take at least 30 of them to provide the necessary catalyst. This brings me to the present. My initial research seems to indicate that the Crimson Nurnroot has a similar affinity for moisture as the garden variety, but also maintains some sort of symbiotic relationship with the enormous fungi that inhabits Blackreach. It's my guess that the fungi itself is a source of water, absorbing it from the moist subterranean air like a sponge. This provides the ideal environment for the Nurnroot to grow. Unfortunately, the Crimson Nurnroot appears to have a vastly shortened lifespan, and they are in no way plentiful down here. Gathering 30 of them will be quite the challenge, but hopefully the denizens of Blackreach will allow me to gather my samples unhindered. Yeah, how did that go? How did that go, Cinderian? Okay, well, we have another Nurnroot quest. Luckily, it's not collecting, you know... What was it in Oblivion again? Like, 273 or something? It was a lot. It was a lot. Got a Dwarven Sword, Leather Boots of Hauling... Wait a minute. That sounds like carry weight. <sighs> Carrying capacity increased by 30 points. Oh, it's my lucky day. Beautiful. Anything to make me hoard more. I am all about it. I am all about it. Is this a cooking pot? Oh, that's great. Didn't know we could find a cooking pot so far down. But we're still going to need some leeks and potatoes and... Not sure where we're going to find those. Black Arrow Volume 1. Sounds familiar, but we got a potato. Hey, what do you know? Moon Sugar Honeycomb Frost Souls. 
Some flowers. Canis root, butterfly wing, luna moth wing. There's just something about ingredients that's just so satisfying to... That was not the button I meant to press. Satisfying to collect. More Tapanella, lesser soul gem, greater soul gem. The arcane enchanter, D. Rerum D. Rennes. Sounds familiar. What? We might have a copy already, or maybe... Will do. That was Oblivion. Who knows? Is that it? Some Falmer ears, and we are good. Oh boy. Alright, the quest for the Crimson Nurn. Ooh, I'll take a hammer too. It's hammer time. Let's go. Black Reach. 30 Nurn Roots. We'll see if we end up getting them on, on this trip. For now, just follow the glow. That's another Crimson Nurn Root. Oh. Misfire, bless me. We'll be fine. Come on, Stenbar. One little Fallen boy watching over a Crimson Nurn Root down there. Looks like he's a little stuck there. Gives me the perfect opportunity to summon Flamey, to bring out the mace, and to have Flamey walk away from him so that he aggroes me. You know, according to plan! Veggie soup, veggie soup, veggie soup. Hey, Crimson Nurn Roots. Nice. Okay. Yeah, not so tough now, are ya? <laughs> he tried to mess with me in the, on the playground and I just brought my big sister. <laughs> and now he's so scared. Yeah. Alright. Bring him down. Let's just bash him. Bash him, bash him. Wonderful. Fall over ear. Gold, weak poison. What do we have here? This is a pods. I don't really want to inspect any further because it's gross. Regardless, we got the little Nern root down here. I'm not sure if there are 30 samples exactly or if there are more than that. But we will uh, we will find out as we travel throughout Blackreach. It's a zone I must admit I've not spent much time in because... <laughs> who really wants to? But now I'm actually pretty intrigued. Hey Nern root. What does this do? Ah, oh, there we go. Where would this lead? Another elevator to Skyrim. Oh, Mistfire, bless me. I think I know where this is. Is this the one that we came across on the road? Great lift that Alftan discovered. Oh, hey, Stunbar. I think I might be right. We came across this when we were walking up to Alftan. Oh, that's so cool! So, my question is whether or not this will always stay open or if, if it will close when the zone resets. Because if it doesn't reset or close, then... Hello, Blackreach! Oh, that's great. This is so cool. Let's keep exploring this fungi-tastical place beneath the earth. We're covered in... oh boy. Alright, we have some uh, more Falmer over here. Oh, where? What is that? Is that a wraith of some sort? What is this magical anomaly? Yeah. Or was that just me getting hit by frost and the particles hanging in the air? Maybe that was it. Regardless. Okay. I need to see if I can get up there and deal with these fools. I don't want to be a sitting duck down here. Alright. Ooh, chest! Not what I came for. A dwarven bow, a scroll of firestorm. That's pretty exciting. Okay. Okay. Okay, they're up there. They're up there. Oh boy, I'm not sure where Stenbar is now. Okay. I don't want to walk all the way around here. I want to try and stick to the side where I know Stembar is. Right up there. Okay. Let's see. There has to be a way up. Numerous rot. Let's go around here. Where is Stenbar? What is it that I'm paying that fool for? Oh boy. Okay, here we go. I might have found it. Okay. 
Catalyst. Summon out Flamey. Let's get Oak Flesh. Oak Flesh would be much cheaper for us to cast now. Miss Fur, bless me. There we go! Gotcha! Oh, don't push me down. Ugh. There we go, just... That was unnecessary, Flamey. Now I have to go all the way back down. And there's the little archer boy. All right. We'll see how tough you are now. Yeah, sure. Pull out a bow in close quarters. See what I think of that. Whoop. No, stay up here. Stay up here. He said, pushing him back towards the edge. All right, let's push him down. Let's just take him down there. Because I'm getting this chest. Amulet of Talos. Elven dagger, gold, see what picks. Okay. Well, we had to go down either way, so. Hi, right, Flamey. You ready? He's probably making his way back up. He's probably right around the corner. I need a new Flamey. Oh, no, 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 they got Joris. Is this the first time we're facing them? Oh, it might be. Oh, boy. <gasps> powerful, 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 powerful. Too powerful, 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 powerful. Where is Stenvar? I need to get Stenvar now. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna run around. I'm just gonna run around. Mistfire, bless me. Oh, no, there's a Centurion. Oh, no way. Okay, let's just try to stay out of that one's way. There's supposedly a Falmer down here. He can't have died from that little fall, so he's he's lurking. I know he is. But I've left the uh, Chorus busy with the Flame Atronach. I wonder if Stenmar got stuck inside the little room. So of course he did. Wait. He said something about killing. There you are! You know, maybe it's the helmet. Maybe he just can't see anything. He's doing some sort of weird dance here. Okay. Now, Stenbar. We good? Yeah. Come on. What's the hurry? Follow me. Is he with me? He's walking backwards into the rocks over there. Like, I brought you down... Ugh. Pathing must be hard for him. I have to babysit him a bit. Come over here. Alright, walk with me. Walk with me, buddy. So, we have a Centurion over there. There's still a Falmer on the loose, with a grudge now. Looking to plant an arrow in my back when I'm not looking. Alright, we have to face that Centurion, I think. There's no way around it. Alright. Oh, I can choose to release him. Well, pfft. You can stay right where you are, buddy. I'm not gonna release ya. Yeah. Yet. What are we fighting? Did you find him? I think he found the Falmer. The fleeing Falmer. <laughs> it's running away over there. I love it. Okay. Arrows. Oh, there's an archer up there. Okay. We need to rush the tower then. I don't want that guy trying to snipe me as I'm just exploring over here. This might be a new Falmer. I don't know! <sighs> Wide open spaces are much harder to clear than narrow corridors. In the sense of, you know, mapping mapping them out, but... We're gonna take it step by step, okay? We're gonna clear Black Reach like nobody's cleared it before. Ah. Falmer down, Falmer down. Nordic Barnacle. <gasps> he came downstairs. Haha! -ha. Oh. Still poisoned me, though. That's okay. That's what we had the saviors hide for. Poisons are nothing! Ugh. Also, the magic resist is nice. Because suddenly they pull out some sick magic. Nice! Fulmer arrow, gold weak lingering poison. Okay. Take an root here. Seven already? That's quite something. Okay. Let's go up here. Alright, alright, alright. 
I'm feeling okay so far. I'm feeling okay about Black Rage. I have been um, a few sleepless nights thinking about what we're gonna do at this level, but I'll scarcely be able to hold a weapon. We'll get some warmth in, yeah. Oh, speaking of warmth, my warm bowls of vegetable soup won't last. I don't have many. So, I might not be able to explore everything down here that I would like to explore, actually, now that I think about it a bit harder. So I might have to choose a little and just focus on getting my objective done, rather than clearing everything. We will see. We will see. So up here, this is the path that led over to the tower where was that Falmer, etc, etc. So I'm wondering what's down here. Some ore. And then this must be the glow from a Nurn root. Exactly. Okay. And then over here... I think I hear a Nurn root. There we go. And nothingness. Dead ends. Creepy pods. Yay. What is this? Ooh. Geode vein. I don't have a pickaxe. I don't know. Stembar doesn't even have a pickaxe. I've just been putting away everything for space. That is definitely interesting. We could probably get the material somewhere else. Okay. So we've gone through the gate down here. Just trying to mentally map this place. Airs peeled. If you hear a Nurn root, I want to be the first to know. War quarters? That's interesting. Okay. Man. Mistfire, bless me. This is not good. Such a big open spot here. What's up here? 2920, volume 06, mid-year. Stenvar, there you are. You've been a good friend of... <laughs> Fine. What? What? I don't know... Will do. I don't know if good friends place helmets like that on each other. Look at this place, it's so dope! I love all of this! Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so we have stairs going down over here. Let's explore everything in this general area first. There's still that one Taurus that we might have killed. There is a Nurn root up there if I could get on top of that. First, let's go up here. This is a thing. Okay, so we have a thing here, a thingamajig. I think it's just a thingamajig, so we'll leave the thingamajig be for now. Okay. Nice hands. <laughs> Phantom torch. Huh. I know the feeling. Ah. Look at this. Watch a pro at work. Huh. Yeah. That's mine. Whoop. And I'm on a slope, so I can't jump. Uh, there we go. I love that when he jumps, he just kind of shoves the torch up in his face. It's a nice little character trait. All right, Stenvar's down there. So far, so good, huh, Stenvar? <laughs> okay, this is the direction we have to head. Miss Fire, bless me. Only had one death so far, and it was very avoidable. The one during the sphere and the Falmer. It's just sometimes they shift their attention to me so quickly. I don't have time to. No, no, no. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, they're a little. Oh, they're peaceful. I'm not, though. <laughs> oh no, they're waking up. Okay, they've woken up. Just had to uh, wake up from their slumber. Oh no, he's coming for me. It's coming for me. Alright, I need... Alright, I'm gonna need vegetable soup. We only have three. Oh boy. I was diligent raiding farms, but... I could only get so many leaks through normal play. 
Oh boy. But we have Stenbar here. So you'll be fine. Excellent. What does the Chorus have for us? Ah, that's another Chorus butthole. Not interested. Oh, he did not kill his own. He just went to mine and then he went back for the other one. That's so nice of him. Think Sven would do that? Don't think so. All right, let's go here. He did say moisture is the key. So let's stay along the water here. Let's go up on the other side here. This area is immense. But I'm I'm doing my best. I'm, I'm mapping this out mentally, okay? Accessing my mind palace. What is up here? Okay. Just looks cool. And there's a centurion over there that I do not intend to release at this very moment. Because no. No, 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 no. Okay, how long is left on the veggie soup? Alright, pretty good. Ten minutes. Oh boy. Should be good. Should be fine. Should be fine. Should be fine. Oh. There's the Chorus I saw earlier, I think. It's down there. Okay. Is there an easy way down? Oh, it's, it's making its way up. Oh. Oh, no, it's one of those... You can't place Flamey on platforms, it seems. Alright, Flamey. Let's go. Stemmar's gonna catch up in due time. Let's get down here. Let's just start bash, bash, bash. I think this is pretty good, actually. Bashing with the bleed effect while he's on fire. It's a pretty safe way to fight, too. Very good. Alright. Hopefully Stemmar will be with us. It's just a little room here. Let's see. So Cinderians, we came in from up over there. And the Cinderians field laboratory is also there. So what is this building? This is just a ruin. Don't think there's an entrance here. There's a little tent over here. Nothing in it. Some rock formations. Oh! Whoa! Isn't that the guy I tossed off the edge? Or is this a new place? Okay. That guy's gonna get it. What I know for certain is that that guy's gonna get it! Alright. Oak flesh is up. Mistfire bless me. Here we go. Yeah! Yeah, that's the guy. He got himself a magic staff since last time, or maybe he could just go through all of them at will. Excellent. Hey! Take that. Staff of lightning bolts! I'll take that too. Alrighty. With the stem bar? Ah, oh, there he is. I think he jumped down too. Wants to be one of the cool kids. Always following my leads. Nice. Okay. Starting to feel a bit better. About exploring this place. So. Gotta go the moisture route. Get our hand on some Nurn roots. Nice. Twelve. Almost halfway. We already see number thirteen over here. Excellent. Ah, stem are swimming across. Very good. This is also pretty dope. Let's get this while we see it. Okay, let's go up here. And see where we end up. We're probably gonna get back on the road where we face that first Falmer. Hmm. No, that would be further over there. So we're almost there. But going from this direction means that we get more of the Nern route along the way. Yes. Fairly certain we saw the Fulmer right by the water here, so I'm just gonna look for any more Nurn roots that call out to me with their siren song. Oh! 
There we go. Uh, this is going swimmingly. Speaking of swimmingly. Now, come on, come on. Please say it's deep enough. There we go. Okay, I, I, sw I swam a little. The pun works. The pun works. Man, oh man. I don't even know what I'm gonna do once we get out of Black Reach, okay? Having overcome an obstacle such as this, and not really feeling restrained by level restrictions anymore, at least for the time being, there's nothing that immediately pops to mind that I have to do before a certain level. It's more now what order I do things in that matters. Misfire, bless me. This is a spidery place. Alright, let's double check. Six minutes left on the vegetable soup. I'll just summon flame because I can. Alright, so that was just a little canyon. Did not hear any nerd. Oh no! Oh, bad, bad, bad. Stembor's not here. <gasps> and there's a Chorus. What? There's a spider! It threw itself to its death! Or they killed it. Yeah. Alright. Here's what we do. Alright. This is the technique. When it's a one-on-one -on -one and it might get a little dicey. We do a lot of bashing and we try to bash them towards... Flamey. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There we go. Flamey took the retention. I have Battle Cry. I've barely ever used Battle Cry during this whole series because I keep forgetting. But it is my emergency panic button and I need to remember that it exists. Stop! Okay. There we go. One Fulmer down. One Fulmer down. That's gonna make this a little easier. <sighs> Again, Stenvar keeps getting stuck here. I don't feel like babysitting him, and so I have to pay the price. Look at his health. This is the best. Oh, this shields. It's gonna revolutionize the way you do blocks. Cool now. Take some of this. That's not the way I wanted you to... Alright, there we go. This little spider, though. I'm not really sure what its goal was. Probably have some poisons, don't I? Supply of poison. Mistfire, bless me. Was it just up here doing, like, some awesome sneak attack? Well, it was entertaining, at least. Another spider here. He might have been killed by the Falmer at that exact moment. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. Very cool. Oh, they even have some salmon down here. That's huge. That's pretty great. All right. Ears perked. Oh boy. I totally know where I am, by the way. Got it all mapped out. No problem. Okay, so we were over here earlier. This is the pond where we swam across with Stenvar, and then I applauded him. Then we went up here, and I made, like, water puns. We never went on the ups. <laughs> the verticality. There we go! Look at that! <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. Double Nern Roots. All the way. Take another. Nice. That was the one I saw, yes. The Reeking Tower! Oh boy. I don't really feel like exploring any of the uh, interior cells just yet. I'm just trying to map out the exterior. What's our vegetable soup looking at? Three minutes. Okay. Come on, combat! Come on, trouble! Give it to me now while I'm souped up. Can't even wait around for stem bar. Oh, that's interesting. Are those wraiths? They look dangerous. What's up here? Miss Fire, bless me. That's some dwarven machinery. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Down there's that place. I know we've been there. Swam across that lake. Okay, okay, okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Let's go down there. Let's find out what they are. Look like... 
wraiths of some kind, but I don't know if... Wisps! Wisp mother! Oh, no, no, no! All right. Oh, boy. Oh, that is not what I want to face down here. Okay. Okay, okay. <gasps> All right. The wisps aren't that strong. <gasps> All right, we can deal with the wisp. I got some glow dust from that. The wisp mother, though. Oh, Miss Fur, bless me. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go up in her face and just start... Bashing her so that she can't do magic stuff. Oh boy. Oh boy! She knows frost. She knows frost. She knows frost. She knows frost. Wisps are after me. Wisps are on my butt. I can't really move fast. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, guys, let's. Miss Verbless, let's talk this through. Let's talk this through. Talk it 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 through. There we go. They're not that tough on their own. I wonder if she can summon more of them. I have never... I don't remember ever fighting a Wisp Mother, so I... <gasps> Whee! Excellent. Okay. We have Battle Cry. Battle Cry is one thing I can do here. So that's good. Other than that, we should have Vegetable Soup for another one minute. <laughs> I'm not gonna live for another minute. We also have some Magicka Potions. And I'm going to pop a lot of those right now. Then I'm going to Oak Flesh. And I'm going to... Get Flamey. Miss Fur, bless me. And then... We're going to face the Wisp Mother again. Oh boy. Where is she? Huh? She's over there. She's over there. Flamey! Do your thing! Go do your thing! Where is she now? Oh! No oh boy. A little nasty. Flamey is doing absolutely nothing. All of those potions to summon you, and this is what I get. Are you... <sighs> Miss Fur, bless me. <gasps> Stenvar, like the absolute Chad that he is, has come to the rescue. Okay. We need to... Now we apply the pressure. Miss Fur, bless me. Ugh. Okay, we need to keep... There we go. There we go. Keep the Wisp Mother bashed. Keep her right here. This is where we want her. Oh, Stenvar's probably been searching for us for 10 minutes, wondering where we went. A shade! It can summon... I have never... I, I, I don't know how a Wisp fights. We're out of veggie soup. I'm drinking my second to last. Because this is a battle worth winning. Ugh! Come on, come on. Oh, and then we bring it down. Bring it down. There is no escape from the righteous mist fire. Glow dusp and some wisp wrappings. Stenvar came just in time, buddy. That was fun. That was good fun. And down there is the whole spider ambush place. So we found the Reeking Tower. I know we found the War Quarter. This place is so big I can't... Silent City Catacombs. There's still combat. There's something here. All right. While well, we still... While well, we're on a roll. They're all up there. That's also the direction I have to go. So while I know that Stenvar is with me... Get that Nurn Root. Cross the bridge. Which will probably instantly make Stenvar lose track of me again. And it's running backwards. Good. Good, good, good. Miss Fur, bless me. Up here we go. Right, because I believe we checked out that place down by the water there. And it's only a matter... Falmer Servant! Oh, this just got interesting. Not just a Falmer, but humanoids. I mean, Falmers are human. You know what I mean. <laughs> Luckily, they are not very bulky. I want to see if he has something interesting, though. Some gold I'll take. Miss Fur, bless me. Right, 
Stemwar is with me. It's very good. Now we'll Falmer over there. I'm just gonna go in and summon a new flame yet. Well, we'll see. Well, there's one over there, so we're gonna do a little bit of oak flesh. Miss Frog bless me. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> there we go. Just bash him around. There we go. Just keep keep on bashing, boys. We're the bashing boys. How you doing? <laughs> Oh, uh, this is how we want it. This Falmer has no freaking chance against the might of Mimir. Numerous lives. That was an arrow almost hitting me. That's interesting. Haha! -ha! A lot of orcs here. Alright, gotta keep my shield up though. Oh boy. I hope Stenbar's gonna be here soon. Alright. I'm gonna take an arrow to the face. There we go. I wanted to spawn Flamey right on top of him, so I took some damage. Ah! Now Flamey, sacrifice a lot to bring you here. Ah! All right. Look at that. I'm I'm, I'm getting better at the whole. All right. Now I actually need to back up a bit, and things get problematic. Stemmar can't actually. Oh, there we go. He just needed to, to see the enemy clearly, and now... Bring him down, you beautiful man. Gold, weak poison. Alright, you know what, I'll take the silver ore too, because I can. Oh boy. Okay, okay, Fulmer's servant, more golds. <sighs> Debate hall. Uh. All right, we might go in there, but it's debatable. For now, though, oh, there's so many of them. Oh, boy, I've been playing for an hour now. What I really need is to just find a peaceful place to take a breather, because we need to continue this clear in the, in the next one, when I said it was going to be combat heavy. Boy, oh boy. Miss Farah, bless me. I didn't realize how right I would be. Okay. There are others in the area, but I don't think they see... They all see me. Okay, good. Alright, former servant's not that bad. But since there is an archer, I need to be mindful of how I do things. Alright. I'm just gonna keep bashing him, I think. Look at his health! Do you see his health going down? All of that is the bleed effect from the shields. Now, given the former servant is not a very strong uh, character, but this is still so good. Ah! Nice. All right, let's go get the archer. Still focusing over there. He hasn't seen me. Oh, he sees me now. Okay. Someone flame me. Mister, bless me. There we go. What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Arrows, huh? Ah. So he can still shoot around me and hit me, so it's not that having the deflect arrows perk means I'm invincible while blocking. I still have to actually point the shield in the right direction. Move, 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 move. Mm. Oh, flame me. I wish you would take more aggro sometimes. Because this is getting nasty. Mm. Okay. Okay. Stenvar- Where's Stenvar? Where is Stenvar? He was right over there, and now there's just a Falmer there. Uh... Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Alright, just keep bleeding him to death. There we go. There we go. Good, good. Quickly, just take his stuff. Okay, we do have some poisons as well, so I'm gonna get weak poison on. Oh, he hit me instead of the shields. Oh boy. Look! Summon! Very good. Block. Miss for bless me. Okay, there we go. And down! 
Oh, or over there, you know, it's direction, who cares? What's this lever do? <laughs> Must have done something. Where's Stenvar? Weren't we just... Oh, he's struggling with the stairs, I think. This is not your kind of place, is it, Stenvar? <sighs> with that, though, everybody... Oh, no. I'm pressing down the Z button to use Battle Cry. That I didn't mean to actually do that. Okay, how do I get out of this? I'm gonna open my menu, release Z, and go out of the... Okay. Whew. I meant to press X to bring up my uh, minimap. Over there is where we have to go. <laughs> We've conquered. We have defeated. We are standing right in front of... What would be a great challenge for the Dovahkiin. However, as of right now, that is not us. Guys and girls, Black Reach is no joke. As we are standing here doing this outro, our second to last vegetable soup is running out. We only really have one more. I would love to explore all this and clear all of this and just get it all done. We are running out of supplies. So next episode, we need to be very tactical about what we do and when we do it. So have a still good day, take care and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, Stay dark. Goodbye.